I made it to this mall called Santa Fe. I'm seeing a friend of mine. Uh, and yeah, this is called Jumbo. This is where she's gonna come and meet me. And yeah, it's a big mall, I guess. Uh, it's, it's a big mall. Uh, to my uh, Amora uh, coffee shop, as you can see. But today, unfortunately, is a public holiday in, in Colombia. But I'm gonna work and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna take you to some uh, botanical garden, I think. Uh, I have a coffee date over there. So yeah, let's sit down and get some work done. Some church on the way to Medellin. No, I'm recording. So going uh, to some garden. Got myself some Colombian food and then we're gonna go to a botanical garden. Look at us with this tree. It's such a big tree. So in the botanical park there is this uh, beautiful place. So I like Espania, I mean Colombia because of this. Everywhere you go they are like doing crazy stuff like this. It's awesome. I love it. So just chilling tonight in this place. It's very luxury as you can see. Uh, I came with my boys. That's my girl, my buddy. So yeah, let's uh, look further. So even the washroom is so sick. The washroom, look. It's for guys here. I like it. It's, I don't know, it has such a good feeling. I could pee here all day. <laughs> We're getting some drinks as of now. That's about our food tonight. Ah, it's a little oil. Ah, this And if you wonder where we are, this is the place. Borneo. It's such a nice place. This guy is actually the owner. He gave a 15% discount, so which was pretty good. And uh, it's such a good night with my uh, buddies here. The streets of Medellin is very beautiful actually. I am in my Uber ride. I never take Uber Black. I always go with Uber X uh, because I want to save my dollar, you know. I usually tip them a little bit uh, to compensate uh, uh, for Uber Black. But I prefer to drive uh, Uber X and pay them the extra money. I don't know why. So this is one of the other attractions here. It's a theater. theater. Uh, sorry for my accent. Uh, this is the hood area where I pick up my girl. Uh, she's from the hood, I mean. Uh, I'm from the hood, she's from the hood. So we click. Uh, so yeah, look at this, uh, this from this point of view. The, the hood is the not so safe area. Uh, my my girl always tells me to uh, hide my cell phone because apparently a thousand dollar worth of life in some of these streets. This is the oldest neighborhood in Medellin. As you can see, it's the oldest one. The places Toronto Vlogs takes you, you know. So the view of driving back to Poblado. It's all green, the mountains, the stock market, everything is green today. So still on the streets, as soon as we come out of um, this tunnel, you'll see Poblado, which is the main uh, district of uh, Medellin. Tall buildings, but you don't see it now, but 
behind uh, these things are tall buildings as you see that's called Poblado that's where I stayed uh, for two and a half months I was in South America so another thing I learned uh, the easy way actually uh, in Medellin don't participate in people's negativity uh, always uh, take their positive side and uh, see the good in them because some people cannot change you know like their personality is just uh, not so good uh, but yeah we are uh, going to Starbucks and yeah I'm not sure which station we are going to but we are going to this station for now called Agukatala and this is the view from the top so we are going to the telecabin again we've been here but I'm gonna show it to you one more time there's a river and this is the line for telecabin and yeah this is it getting on as you can see I just got on and yeah gonna be awesome. Okay, Alvarez, so look at the buildings. Medellin has two sides to it, guys. One portion is all like this, and I'll show you the good portion. I showed it to you last night as well, but this is not bad at all. Made it to the top, as you can see the, the clear view of Medellin. We are going further. And yeah, this is how up we're gonna go. So we are going further up. By the way, this is my brother Karen. What's up? And yeah, this is uh, such an inspiration. It's, it shows how many people in the world that you could help. Look at the view. We're up the hill and look, this is supposed to be a hotel. And they're hustling, you know, like tourists like us come here. And this is gonna be a hotel soon. So this is how the houses look in Medellin, the portion we just came in. So guys, I'm working out, as you can see. I was doing, uh, I don't even know the name, sorry for my English. Uh, but one thing uh, I wanted to, to tell you is another thing. Um, everybody is good for something. Don't take it the shallow way. Uh, but everybody has expiry dates. Some people don't have expiry dates. I don't want to say it in a bad way, in a, in a negative way, uh, but everybody's good at something. So take advantage of their good side. So keep that in mind also. What I said was pretty uh, shallow, uh, but let me tell you one thing, guys. Uh, yeah, you need to cut the people that don't give you advantage in life. Uh, the people that don't push you ahead, they are pushing you backwards. So as soon as you detect that, cut them out of your life and replace them with new people because this world has 7 billion people excluding dogs uh, but yeah uh, you can uh, change as soon as possible so uh, evaluate someone's worth so we are on our way to uh, Guatope, Guatope or Guatape or something like that it's a city close to Medellin and uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks and this is the streets of somewhere close to Poblado. So I got some uh, alcohol as you can see and uh, we are heading to Guatape and yeah it's gonna be nice. So we made it to the terminal as you can see. The bus is here. I got my ticket. 12,000 pesos, which is equivalent to uh, $6 per person. So we made it uh, to the bus. This is the bus. As you can see, it's comfortable, but it's not the best ride ever. We made it to Guatope. Okay. We are still on the bus. But there is a rock that I missed that I wanted to show you guys. That's why the take part is the rock that I was talking about. It's right right enough for me to say, like, you have to take it within the second okay, yeah, space. Yeah, I'll see that. And it'll be like, okay. here's a tradition. So we just got off. We got off the bus over here. And uh, we're gonna go to our place and I'm gonna show you how it is. So we are getting on one of these machines. As you can see, uh, it's like a rickshaw in India. 
We are going uh, to get some money. So guys, this is pretty much uh, it. We are going to Guatape with this rickshaw. Look how gorgeous it is. So that's it, we got off this uh, rickshaw thing. And this is our Airbnb, I think, this place here. Uh, so yeah. So we just checked into the place and tada, look at the view guys. Balling, like I think this is one of the best units in Guatape, which we have rented. Uh, it came to maybe 300 Canadian dollars or 250 US dollars or a little bit less than that. But uh, let me show you, this is me, of course. Uh, look at the view in the background. And this is some out of my league restaurant over here. As you can see, yo, those two look like a model, right? <laughs> yeah, they're modeling for my vlog. Uh, so yeah, I paid them. No, I'm kidding, I didn't. But yeah, this is the restaurant and it's awesome. Look at this beautiful food. Later, do not complain if you... Cliff, I'll quickly show you the view from here as well. It's nice. So, bye bye beautiful restaurant. So we made it to the jet ski area. As you can see, birds are singing, celebrating my victory. And yeah, uh, we're gonna go on a jet ski and uh, if I can, I will bring my phone and show you the, the sea. But for now, that's what it is. Whose house was that? Abu Basco's uh, house is there that's apparently bombed. And we are chilling with my buddies in the water. And it's a lot of fun. So yeah, this is uh, a good day. And that's it. So this is the rock that is very famous of uh, this place. Uh, it's a big rock and it has uh, something on top of it. And my friends are here. So we made it to the mountain as you can see. It's close up of the mountain. We couldn't get closer by it. So yeah, uh, boats are going by here and the view of nature is so beautiful. One second. Uh, one thing I learned guys in life, um, have people at their best see what their best is in life. Uh, it really matters uh, to experience people's lives from a different perspective. So that's, uh, that's true, right? That's true. So guys, after doing uh, this water activity, I learned something. So you see all those guys on boats and yachts and doing like water sports and you feel like they are really rich. Uh, honestly, like I did this once and I wouldn't want to do it again in like until three years. And I'm not saying it, was, it wasn't fun, but it wasn't my thing. I enjoy my YouTube more or I enjoy other things that are free. Uh, so like you gotta, you gotta adjust your mindset and enjoy uh, what you have. So keep that in mind also because it's, it drains your pocket very quickly if you want to adjust yourself to a lifestyle like this. So my friends are drinking wine and I'm trying to get yeah, that's how YouTube drunk Did you get Columbia off in the on this one. I'm so Persian guys. So look at the view, it's at night, listening to music. And my buddy was dancing over there. Go. We like, we like smooth things man, damn it, we like smooth things. So it's night out uh, as my friend's birthday is tonight. Uh, it's just chilling here and I wanted to show you everything, you know. I got to vlog every single moment with my friends and uh, this is Gutap Gu Guatope in Medellin. So 
come and visit this town because it's really beautiful. This is my breakfast at this beautiful place, Grotto Pay. And that's my view. I don't think I'm gonna have this view for a very, very long time, guys. So we were just dreaming with my friend. One day I'm gonna come back here with a helicopter, you know? That's it, the view is so awesome. I'm gonna miss it. So when you do such a thing, you gotta remember that you gotta be able to upgrade too. So don't go too quick in life and upgrade to something that you cannot afford. That's really important. So that's it, we're gonna check out. I'm gonna take another look at this beauty. Uh, as I said, don't get used to comfort of uh, spending money because uh, money goes very quick. Instead, watch these vlogs and see you save money, you know? Like, uh, I pay for it, so why do you pay? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you gotta be adventurous and enjoy life, but make sure to budget it. The, the, uh, look at this. Yo, it looks like a movie, actually. What oh, does? This, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, you're gonna take us and give us like bunk beds. Yeah, if it was me, if it wasn't for Julian's uh, choice, I would have taken these guys to a hospital. In your vlog, show the uh, Colombian haircut. Yo, on look there. at this future billionaire. Uh, it's one of us. It's one of us or both of us. Like yeah. it's it's gonna be like this. So. So how do you lose belly? Ask the expert. Go. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. <laughs> no, how do you lose belly? Por favor. Por tell favor. people. Tell people how to lose belly. It's all diet. Por favor. <laughs> We are saying goodbye to everything, as you can see, we are going and we are in rickshaws. These are made in India actually. Say hello. So downtown Guatope, as you can see, there are so many tourists over here. I'm gonna go further, show you the middle. This is their central park. Let's see if I can say hello to this dog. Hello. Hi. 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 Look at your eyes. Look at your eyes. Yeah. So that's it. We came over here. I'm buying stuff for my girl. This bracelet and stuff. So that's our last hour in uh, Guatope. It was very nice. So the title of this video is going to be Medellin to Guatope. I'm saying this uh, for Google purposes. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm just making shit up uh, because I just wanted to show you this road. Doing this and that's awesome. I like this restaurant because um, it's a French called Guata Crepe or something. Yeah. Nice. Look at this beauty. Oh, dude. You can definitely tell she made it. So, this is the fountain behind me, as you can see. It's nice. So, guys, I made it to Poblado Park. I'm home, baby. Uh, it feels good to be home after a day of uh, being away from Medellin or Medellin. Actually, I learned how to pronounce it. It's Medellin. So, Medellin. I don't know where the G comes from or J come come from come come comes from, uh, but yeah. Uh, so um, you gotta be able to uh, look at things a little different. Um, one day getaway is not usually just one day, um, especially for experience like this. It's a one once in a lifetime opportunity, right? And especially since you do it at a very early age in your life, uh, that means. Uh, it's very important because it defines you as a person uh, because uh, what you go through during these times of your life in your youth in your childhood or when you're young um, this is defined this defines you as a person when you grow up and grow older so keep that in mind also I'll teach you more uh, as well vlog more a journey of a thousand miles guys starts with a step that's it. So peace out. Uh, please subscribe to this channel and like this video uh, because uh, I really, 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 really need it. I'm kidding. Uh, see you soon.